Is now a good time to cash out an I-bond and roll it over to a CD? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor, Chris Barry. I-bonds were like the hot investment for a period of time. And for a period of time, I-bonds were at about 9%. So this was at their peak just because inflation hasn't been that out of control. Like historically, they're at 1% to 2%. And they reset every six months. And you have to have it for a year. Technically, it's on a five-year chassis. But if you cash it out before the five years, you have a penalty of three months worth of interest. So for a while there, we were recommending, hey, run out, get I-bonds. You can put 10000 in per person plus 10000 for a trust. And at least for the next six months, months, you're going to be getting 9% on your money. And then it readjusts every six months. It was kind of adjusting up and we're like, oh, I-bonds are the hottest thing in the world. But the government's saying that inflation is coming back down. With that, the value of those I-bonds are coming back down. For most people, I would not recommend running out and getting I-bonds. And in fact, I might be looking at cashing out those I-bonds. So the question is, if you're not going to do an I-bond, what are you going to do? The big thing with the I-bond is it's principal protected, meaning you're not going to lose that money and you're going to get some amount of sort of guaranteed growth. The growth guarantee is for a period of six months. So if you're looking for principal and growth and you're comfortable losing a little bit of liquidity, a CD could make sense. Right now, like six month CDs are probably going over kind of 5%. We're looking at like short term treasury bills. Still, you're in that kind of four to 5% range. We even right now have a high yield savings account that's completely liquid that's offering 5%. So that's where I look at the I-bonds, which right now I think, and I could be mistaken, are about four and a quarter or four and change. So our big thing that we've been talking to clients about is really high yield savings counts, treasury bills, CDs. If you're looking longer term, like two to five years, this is where we're looking at multi-year guaranteed annuities. Same thing basically as a CD, but it's offered by an insurance company. And this is a guaranteed rate. So even if interest rates drop, you're still looking at 5% plus then even longer term, we could look at things like fixed index annuities, which could be five to 10 years. And here, not necessarily guaranteed, but typically you're seeing rates of anywhere five to 8% over time. All of these are offering the principal protection, meaning you're not going to lose your money. Opportunity for growth. If you have money sitting in cash, it's not even keeping up with inflation right now. And then the concern or the drawback of these is you have to typically sacrifice a little bit of liquidity. The only one that you don't have to sacrifice any liquidity on are the high yield savings accounts. So these are great cash accounts right now. You can find them online. Like we have one that right now is offering 5%. You can move money in, move money out, and there's no fees or anything. Also the nice thing, it's FDIC insured. So I'm not a big fan of I-bonds these days. They kind of had their time in the sun. So I would be looking at one of these alternatives, just depending on your situation. 